Be good. Okay, so we can talk here. Look there okay, yes. on that side. Okay, um, or you can look at me. Whatever. Yes. But I just want to give people an idea of what you do here at the center. What do you do here at the mm -hmm. okay. center of yeah. art and nature? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm the director of the center, and. Uh, Centra d'Art i Natura, eh, in Catalan, means art and nature. Art and nature is uh, also creation and research. Yeah. Uh, art and science. And uh, is a center that his main aim is to receive artists and researchers for uh, they develop his own project. Yes. We also accept small groups of people who want to uh, uh, dip in some subject, yeah. like a seminar, meeting, uh, and we try to be very active in this area that is a very depopulated area, Yes. And the center can be a little bit uh, kind of economic, cultural, and um, uh, life, full of life center for Ferrera, the village, but also for the valley and the county. Yeah. Pallars. Yes. So um, I came to the art center. Yes. Um, instinctively to work on my book, yes. right? And so you provide a place, or UIS provides a place where artists can come and work on their projects. So I had a book that I wanted to write and coming to an environment like this means that I can come and focus on doing nothing but writing, focusing on my book, taking long walks through the hills here and being able to quiet my mind and, um, eliminate distractions. So, um, being here, Luis, I found that the land, the landscape, the nature here, is particularly healing. Uh, we are in one of the higher villages in the Pyrenees. The Pyrenees is a mountain Caten, uh, mm -hmm. enough south in Europe, but with enough altitude for to have a very big uh, biodiversity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in between our high mountains landscape and this very rich biodiversity, is an is a good environment <laughs> for to do all you want <laughs> and with certain guarantees of yeah. Uh, success. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, he just nailed it for me. <laughs> <laughs> the place is amazing, and he calls it biodiversity. I call it nature on crack. I call it just na you know Mother Nature at her best. And can you tell me a little bit about the biodiversity or about the trees that are here, the plants, yeah. the landscape? Yes, um, because mountains are not flat. <laughs> uh, no, it's not flat here. <laughs> always have a site who is looking the north and is where in winter is full of snow many, some months where the humidity is more elevated yeah and this microclima yes microclimate microclimate, microclimate mm -hmm. uh, give a kind of vegetation who looks like the north europe vegetation yes the south side side of the mountains because recive all the year, a lot of hours of sun. Yes. There are much more dry, 
and the vegetation looks like the Mediterranean vegetation. Yeah, it does. <laughs> this means that in a very small area, yeah. we have habitats from North Europe and habitats from the warm uh, Mediterranean areas. Absolutely. This means not only vegetation, but also animals yeah. who looks like to live in a dry and hot area or in a, a fresh and cold or and wet yeah. uh, uh, space too. Yes. This is our richness and the mix of these habitats uh, give us the biodiversity. Yeah, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And that's one reason why I'm looking forward to bringing a group of women here. Mm -hmm. It's there's something about the land that feels whole. It doesn't feel extreme to any one particular type of feeling or experience. There are lots of stones and there's lots of pine trees and lots of wild flowers and lots of, there's just a mix of everything here, you know? So it's very good to hear your perspective on why it is, you know? And it feels very, very true. And very humanized. Yeah, <laughs> it is. From eight, more or less, because we study these things with people from the university, these areas have been inhabited from around 8,000 years ago. Ah, 8,000 years 8, ago. 8,000 years ago. This means wow. that humans have been always, from our perspective, 8,000 is always, no? Yeah. They have been uh, uh, using all these mountains for to live. Yes. And you, when you walk around the mountains, you felt yes, that. Yes, absolutely. Because you found old cabins, yeah. old fields, Beautiful. old terraces, yes. old barns. Old walls. Old, yes. Full of human construction mm -hmm. that is very well integrated. Because very well integrated. Because we export new materials from few decades right. ago, mm -hmm. but till there, till then, it's we the was using always the stones and yeah. the materials we, we had Locally. around us. Yeah. This means that the villages are usually very well uh, integrated yes. in this uh, environment, in yes. our environment. Yes, and it is a, it's a beautiful village here in Ferreira. Yes. It's, it's, it's yes. gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And the, the building here, I know you said this is a newer, relatively new... It's an old barn mm. uh, uh, renovated right. uh, 10 years ago. Okay. But it's an old barn for to dry the grain and the he the hay he, the hay the hay mm -hmm. and it was for two storage yes. because in winter the animals eat the domestic animals right recently cows but a little bit uh, more far in the in the time it they was horses yeah. mules uh, donkeys. Yeah. It was the main production of Ferreira, oh, Ferreira. and the, the high was the main alimentation and the grain was the alimentation of these horses when they couldn't be outside. Yes. In winter they was eating uh, this kind of food. Yeah. But in summer they was walking around outside. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. And what a wonderful place for them to have their freedom to roam or, mm -hmm. you know, even to be of service here. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> and I just want to finish up by having you tell us a little bit about the Catalonian people. The okay. people of Catalan. Yeah. How would you describe yourselves? Yeah. Okay, we are one of these uh, uh, um, countries who start with 
the Catalan as uh, our main identity, the language. Yes. In the same time where Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, this means that as a country we have thousand years of history, yeah. not more than that. Our mm, capacity of resistance probably is one of our uh, main uh, characteristic, characteristics. <laughs> characteristics, yeah. Because in the last three hundred years, they're very resistant years, people. <laughs> we received two kinds of genocide. And the last one was during the civil war, Spanish civil war. Right. And after three years of war, 40 years of dictature of a fascism. Yeah. Our language was forbidden, our laws, our ideas, historical ideas was forbidden. And we start with our democracy just 40 years ago. Just 40 years and ago. And after 40 years of trying to modernize Spain, to give a good level of democracy to Spain, the men of our country have decided that we have to be a new state in Europe. And we are now in this difficult project. Wow. <laughs> in a very difficult project. It's not for to put more borders. We no. don't love borders. Right. But we love own governation. Of course. Because we have other kind of ideas. We have another history and we think that we can be a fresh air for this Europe in crisis, for this Europe against refugees, or this Europe who only love money and not uh, human ideas. Right. And I think that we can be uh, nice. It is for us an opportunity to uh, give to Europe other kind of possibilities to develop our yes. uh, un united. You know, I um, it's interesting because one of the things I feel when I'm with people here is I can feel your resistance to, you know, to holding on to your identity. And I love it. I love it. I love it because as you hold on to your identity, you don't deny anybody else's identity. I never notice, like, you can have your identity and I can have my identity and we can both get on very, very well. And we love identity yeah. because <laughs> it's part of this richness in the world, and yeah. especially in Europe. Yes. Still in Europe. Yes, the biodiversity of here. Cultural the, the, the diversity. Cultural diversity. Cultural diversity. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, excellent. Exactly. Ex excellent. Is exactly the same natural or naturalistic language, but yes. for the culture. Yeah, exactly. It's, and we have to be respectful with the yes. people, with the cultures, with the languages, with the diversity. Yeah, exactly. And I think this is one of the other beautiful aspects of life here in Ferreira. When you have this beautiful nature, which is so supportive and so diverse, and also so welcoming. The nature here is welcoming. It's easy to heal here. But also the people are so warm and friendly, and that's very healing as well. When people need healing, when the heart is broken, they want to be around people that are warm and friendly and compassionate. And I find you and the people here to be so compassionate and so... Thank you very much. It's true, though. It's true. You all listen and you can feel. Uh, in Ferreira, we have to be hospit hospitalary. Hospitable. Hospitable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Hospitable. Mm -hmm. Because we are in the end of the world. <laughs> After Ferreira, there is only mountains, yeah. not more villages. <laughs> right, right, right. And, of course... We have to take care of the people yes. because it's easy became uh, uh, 
fatigue, uh, tired, tired or, fatigued, tired, you know, yeah, of the long loneliness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have to take care of the people. We we yeah. know that is very important. Yeah. In one center like Centro de Arte Natura in Ferrera, be hospital hospitable hospitable yeah <laughs> hospitable. yeah excellent you all do it very well very well i'm excited to bring my women here you know i'm excited for They them to come be, oh, you will be very welcome yeah thank you so much thank you i think there will be a lot of good work to be done here you know a I'm lot sure. of good internal opening and forgiveness and all these things. Yes, I'm sure this is a good place for this kind of meeting, <laughs> sure. Excellent, yes. Luis. So I think that's it for us for right now. I'm going to go ahead and sign us off. And um, thank you so much. Thank you to you and yeah. for your trust. Yeah, <laughs> oh gosh, you got that. No problem. <laughs> all right, excellent, Luis.